town. So once you get people used to going to one venue, they close up shop and you have to move to another venue. Well, well yes. That's another, <laughs> another good facet to what Black Sheep is doing. They're not focusing everything on one set venue. They bounce around between two or three different venues, and, and they vary the size of their events accordingly. Right, so that it's their promotion that people follow, exactly. not the location. Because you, if you're not paying attention, you're going to show up to the wrong place, and you're going to see a, mo- uh, a show that really you didn't want to see <laughs> because, oh, oh, darn, I went to the wrong place. Well, stupid, pay attention. And, and I think that's part of the uh, attraction to following Black Sheep and all their productions because, number one, he has very good quality shows. He bring, he, they bring out, they break all the, all the rules. They, they take out all the stops. They did Big Kahuna last year mm-hmm. where they actually had a tr- uh, flatbed truck. Mm-hmm. They turned it into a stage, and they had that in the parking lot of FET. Yeah, well, they're not, they're not breaking the rules. They're following the rules of putting on a good show. Well, <laughs> no, nobody else is doing stuff that they're right, doing. That, that, no, no, I mean, not too many people are putting on good shows that you want to get shows, out there and go see. How yes. many shows have you seen with dunk tanks and uh, the uh, gladiators with the pugil sticks and, and all this? Uh, this is just outside before you even get into the building. Right, right. A good show, the components of a good show yep. are bare skin, <laughs> yep. alcohol, yep. food, yep. And music. Well, I mean, they, it's, it's they not, cover it's, all of them. Yeah, it's, it's not tough, lady. It's not <laughs> all you people out there. It's not tough. And the best part is they're not only bringing in all these bands who have their merch set up, but in this one, especially the Tattoo Festival, they're bringing in tattoo shops, which are going to be do- tattooing on premise during the show. Mm-hmm. The show starts at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Then they're bringing in other vendors for like... like uh, Viking Beard Oil, I think, is showing up. Yeah, Viking Beard Oil. Rebel Smoke is going to be there. Get Punch Clothing is going to be there, and, and it's just, it's you don't know. You're not going to have. You're not going to be bored. Right now, of no, of course. Let me just you know because we can never assume anything. Um, you know those promoters that I said. Okay, you know it's simple. You know here's the steps. To, you know that doesn't mean I want to see you put a flatbed out in the parking lot when it's five degrees below zero. <laughs> Let's use a little common sense here. Com- common sense goes a long way with that stuff. <laughs> so I, I think I, I've beat this subject to a pulp at this point. Why don't we take a break? Um, so Ben, I actually, Tony and I were talking about just uh, a little bit earlier today. It was uh, Morris and the East Coast. The name of the song is Will You Love Me When I Lose My Mind. <laughs> You're listening to My Night Out Radio. We'll be back in a minute. Oh 
goes on and on From dusk until dawn The summer to fall The frozen a thaw But does it die With the mind Does it die Welcome back, my Night Outers. That was Morris in the East Coast. Will you love me when I lose my mind? Which is a question I've had to ask several times because I've been <laughs> borderline on that one for quite a while. Uh, so, George, I mean, I, I'm right now I'm at a crossroads. I, I, okay. I can't deter because I have a song that I the band has not been played in a long time. And if okay. I don't talk too much right now, I can get to them. Uh-huh. Or I have a, something else stuck in the back of my head, which I want to get out. Okay, what's but, the topic that's stuck in the back of your head? Quick, quick. Uh, it's about tattoos. But we just, Okay, that we, can wait for the next show. That can wait for the next show. So, all right, we're going to cut to another break, uh, another song. Uh, we're going to call it uh, Love Sick Murder, which is not the song I wanted to, to you guys to hear. But Love Sick Murder, the name of the song is Bleed For You. Uh, we'll be back in a minute.
Okay, my nettos, that was Lovesick Murder. The name of the song was Bleed For You. Now, I've been going through my Facebook feed pretty much since we got on the air and, well, for an hour or two before that, actually, and, and I saw several marriage proposals, a lot of engagement rings. Some of them, they look like a speck of dust with a gold <laughs> band. Some of them, you're wondering how the girl is going to ha- you know, carry her hand around with a piece of stone that big on her hand. But... You know, congratulations, guys, if you did get engaged. I do know John Tierney, a good friend of ours. He actually played the uh, Rhode Island Free Radio first anniversary party. He was uh, opening up with uh, Viking Jesus, Chris Hansen. They put on an awesome show. He's an awesome musician. Beautiful voice on him. Definitely a beautiful voice, John Tierney. Congratulations, John. He just got engaged. Uh, One thing I do want to point out. Uh, if you have nothing to do tonight, uh, in about an hour, uh, if, if you're listening live, you have about an hour to get there. starts at 7 o'clock. Uh, you have to be a Trekkie nerd if you're listening. Uh, the Star Trek Ultimate Voyage, blah, Ultimate Voyage at the Providence Performing Arts Center. What? That's right. Uh, it's the 50th anniversary of the Star Trek fan- franchise. So what they're doing is they're playing... Uh, orchestral versions of the music that have been performed for each of the Star Trek uh, shows, you know, Next Generation, whatever. In other words, live orchestra playing but Star it's a Trek li- themes. And they are going to put up on the screen scenes from all of the uh, the Sh- incarnations shows, of Star Trek. Yeah. yeah, They're going to be putting scenes up on the screen. They're going to be playing the music. Um Trekkie love is the only other way I could say this because that's what's going on. Trekkie circle jerk. Exactly. <laughs> um, speaking of circle jerk, brings me to old-fashioned punk rock. Uh, circle jerks were an awesome band, but even better was a band. I can't even say the name of the band because it, it's, it just has such a negative connotation. <laughs> Everyone knows it as AC. Um, okay, yes, that... Questionable. The, the first one, A, is a bodily orifice. The second, the C, could be either a bodily orifice or the person contained therein. Right. <laughs> Female speaking. Exactly. Uh, the name of the song is I'd Love to Have Your Daughter's Hand in Marriage from AC. You've been listening to <laughs> My Night Out Radio on Rhode Island Free Radio. Thank you for listening, everybody. Have a good night.